Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best. Axton Management Company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story is again about police officers that have been convicted for wrongdoing. Liverpool Crown Court has heard that an innocent man spent nine hours in a police cell after police turned off their body cameras to beat him up and made false statements. We're going to be reacting to the Liverpool Echo newspaper. And they say that PC Darren McIntyre beat up Mark Bamba after a red mist descended and he punched him repeatedly. He was with other Merseyside police colleagues attending a welfare check on Mr. Bamba's partner in Ainsdale on June the 19th, 2019. When PC McIntyre told him, you better wind your fucking neck in and threatened to put him in the cell. Then he flew into a rage and became angrier and angrier and fellow PCs Laura Grant and Lauren Buchanan turned off their body-worn camera before lying in their police statements along with PC Gary Burke to protect their colleague. Mr. Bamba was left with blood pouring from a cut to his cheek before being arrested and spending a night in a cell and being under investigation for eight days. The judge in the case said that the teamwork was dishonest and undermined the system of justice. So if you actually think about it, the way they tried to manipulate it and one of these police officers had only been in the job for five weeks. So this is what she was being trained to do. She was being trained to lie and she was being trained to cover up for her colleagues. The judge said that PC McIntyre stated in his statements that Mr. Bamba moved his head in the direction and then raised his left arm and elbowed me in the side of my nose. PC Burke said that Bamba had moved his head towards Constable McIntyre in what they believed was an attempt to headbutt him. But after reading the statements in court, the judge said this was a lie. They said that Grant claimed that Mr. Bamba was drunk and the judge said that was also a lie and you did that to discredit the victim. PC Buchanan Lloyd wrote that Mr. Bamba had leaned in but didn't say that he tried to headbutt McIntyre or use his elbow to hurt him. The judge said in course that what if he had been charged? What if he'd been taken to court? And what if he had been convicted? You would have changed this man's life for a lie. You turned off the body cam footage in order to be able to beat him up and not face justice. He had been assaulted with no justification and arrested without any due cause and unlawfully put in custody for approximately nine hours and under police investigation for over a week. So they effectively beat this man up and also kidnapped him because if he hasn't committed a crime, then you are effectively kidnapping him. The judge said that she was satisfied that Mr. Bamba was not drunk or aggressive and never displayed any violence or any threat. PC McIntyre did nothing to defuse the situation and in fact they said in court that having presided over the trial I am satisfied that he created the situation and also made it confrontational. The other officer involved in the case Burke from Somerville Road Waterloo and Buchanan Lloyd from Beebiton all denied perverting the course of justice but were convicted by a jury. So they've cost the taxpayer the time that it took to put him in custody and also this whole court trial as well. The judge said all of your careers are in tatters and the fact that you decided with others to embark on a dishonest cause of conduct in support of a colleague regardless of the consequences that this would have for an innocent member of the public. Sentencing Grant, the judge said, you were Lloyd's tutor and you were responsible to teach them the best practice that they would take for their career in the police force. Lloyd then told McIntyre that she had turned off her camera and this was in effect unlawfully assaulting Mr. Bamba. And when they was asked how they could explain why their cameras were off, the other officer told her that they would say the batteries died. They were sentenced to 15 months in prison and after they was in the dock, the judge said that for Buchanan, this was a tragedy as she was the allocated PC to teach Grant how to become an officer. And we find that you have no moral compass or integrity. The judge said the view of the attack was blocked as soon as Grant made reference to the battery of the camera and everybody became aware they were going to cover this up. Alisa Williamson, who was defending Lloyd, explained that she had only been in the police for five weeks and Buchanan Lloyd was sentenced to nine months in prison that was suspended for 18 months. And McIntyre, 47 years old, from Southport, denied assault occasioning ABH and perverting the course of justice and will be sentenced on July the 16th in court 
but he has since been hospitalised with medical problems. Merseyside Police say all three officers were suspended and will face gross misconduct proceedings for the breaches of their professional behaviour. So it seems sometimes like we've become a channel that just talks about corrupt police and this is definitely not what the channel is about but in the last few days we've definitely seen a massive increase in these sorts of cases. I'm assuming with lockdown ending and a lot of court proceedings commencing we're maybe going to see more similar cases in the future. So I really appreciate you joining me for this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.